Tonight, kidnapping, mayhem, murder in Mexico, 5,300 deaths and counting. Drugs are fueling brutality that now threatens the U.S. Secretary of State Clinton is there as two countries crack down on the cartels. Anderson Cooper will report from the border on the war next door. Anderson Cooper has gone to the border in El Paso, Texas, reporting on the war next door. El Paso borders on, on Juarez, Texas. Anderson, the U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder called Mexico's drug cartels a national security threat. You agree with that from what you've learned today? Well, certainly, uh, you know, we've been working on this now for a couple of weeks. Uh, you know, uh, the Justice Department says that Mexican drug cartels are operating in some 230 cities in the United States, all the way up to Anchorage, Alaska, Atlanta, Georgia, all across the map. They now say it's the largest organized crime threat in the United States. If you're talking about cocaine, marijuana, heroin, or methamphetamine, it's, and all of it is coming mainly from, uh, up from Mexico. So it's certainly uh, a major concern. We're hearing from the Obama administration a change in the, in the language that they are using. They are certainly talking about it as a homeland security issue and one that they're trying to take steps to, uh, to, to help fix. Just as Secretary of State Hillary Clinton arrives in Mexico City, the Mexican government announces a high-profile arrest. The kingpin who allegedly runs a drug cartel in Monterey, where Clinton is to visit Thursday. A rare victory in a violent drug war that's bleeding over the U.S. border. The Obama administration, working closely with Congress, intends to provide more than $80 million in urgently needed funding for Black Hawk helicopters for Mexican law enforcement. These aircraft will help. Mexican police respond aggressively and successfully to the threats coming from the cartels. Her visit is a show of solidarity with Mexican President Felipe Calderon, who has staked his presidency on battling drug cartels. But the criminals, Clinton says, are outgunning his law enforcement. Clinton agrees with Calderon that U.S. guns, money laundering, and drug use are fueling the violence, which is why the Obama administration will push hard to get more equipment and more law enforcement to the border. You heard what the Secretary of State had to say. Is it enough to end the violence? Our next guest may have some ideas about that. Stay with us. three experts on this uh, tough topic. They are Edward James Olmos, the Emmy-winning and Oscar-nominated actor, social activist, particularly involved with the Latino community. In Denver is Tom Tancredo, former United States Representative, a Republican of Colorado, former chairman of the Congressional Immigration Reform Caucus. And here in Los Angeles is Tom Quinones. He's a reporter with the Los Angeles Times. He's done extensive writing on immigration issues on what he calls the criminal in Mexico. Uh, I apologize, I, int I introduced Mr. Quinones as, uh, as Tom Quinones, as Sam Quinones of the LA Times. What do you make of all this, Eddie? Oof, <laughs> start with me. All right, I think that it's uh, time, and I hope that basically that we can turn around and understand this problem, because this is something that's going to keep on haunting us for a long period. Did you see it coming? Yeah, oh, it was real evident for many, many, many years. The corruption that has been caused by drugs and the planet has been overwhelming. But this is just, a, this is going to be a nightmare unless they do some really intense work. Tom, and it's going to be hard because it's, you're talking about economics. So it's just... Yeah, it's a lot of money. A lot of money. Tom, what do you make of it? <laughs> My name's... Secretary of State Clinton said today in Mexico, our insatiable demand for illegal drugs fuels the drug trade. Our inability to prevent weapons from being illegally smuggled across the border to aim to arm these criminals causes the deaths of police officers, soldiers, and civilians. Uh, of course, drugs are a problem, undeniably so, but we cannot get caught up in trying to lay the blame on America for this. The issue of drugs, we can argue that, and I'm more than willing to in terms of what we should do about it. Secretary of State Clinton said today in Mexico, our insatiable demand for illegal drugs fuels the drug trade. Our inability to prevent weapons from being illegally smuggled across the border to aim to arm these criminals causes the deaths of police officers, soldiers, and civilians. What's going to stop it, Edward? 
Well, exactly controlling all that. I mean, it's pretty hard to control the border without controlling the border. And it's very difficult to understand how to get past all this because it's all about economics on both sides. Somebody's making a lot of money, and we have a lot of users in this part of the world. And I got to tell you right now, the hardest part to take is the corruption on both sides of the border. For Tom to say that it's not the U.S.'s fault, it's, <laughs> where, are you, where are you coming from, Tom? I can only say this. You want to stop this? Control the border. Yes, you're going to control hmm. immigration. Everybody can turn around and say whatever they want to say about it. You control that border. Sam? Well, I think both, both uh, are, are correct. I mean, you've got a real institutional problem in Mexico. You have very weak local institutions that are crumbling. You see this in Juarez. You see this along the border and other places in Mexico. And you've got this uh, uh, remarkable, uh, insatiable demand, as the Secretary said, today said, uh, uh, for drugs, uh, a very uh, liberal gun laws that allow the kind of the drizzling of weapons down into Mexico in a very uh, relentless kind of way. It's not over until the lady in the pantsuit says it is. <laughs>